Reeling Up the Coast is proudly brought to you today by Key West Boats. Key West Boats, built by fishermen for fishermen. Visit Key West online or visit a local dealer to find the model right for you. Folks, we got a great show for you today. We're fishing where anybody can go fishing. We're right here on Surfside Pier in Surfside Beach, South Carolina, and there's an unbelievable flounder migration. I got a phone call yesterday from a good friend of mine who had been out here yesterday. He limited out in a matter of hours on some beautiful flounder and actually released a ton of keepers. We're down here joining my friends from Perry's Bait and Tackle. We're going to have some great action coming with some big old flat fish, so don't go anywhere because the show starts right now. This segment brought to you by Polly's Island Outdoors. Our knowledgeable staff can help you choose from top-of-the-line tackle, apparel, guns, and hunting gear to boat rentals and guide service. We are your connection to the outdoors. Visit us on Highway 17 in Polly's Island. Put a refreshing spin on your summer. Bud Light Lime. Superior drinkability. Ultimate refreshment. A splash of 100% natural lime flavor. One taste and you'll find the summer state of mind. Bud Light Lime. Where can you drive 2012 Camry LEs for $199 a month? Sparks Toyota. At Sparks Toyota, drive 2012 Camry LEs with 35 MPG for $199 a month or zero APR. Drive the 2012 Prius with 52 MPG for $249 a month, $249 a month or 2.9 APR for 60 months. Plus, get Sparks Toyota's preferred customer program. Log on to SparksToyota.com and hurry. These great deals end soon at Sparks Toyota, where the dealer is always in. Fresh seafood, savor the taste of flame grilled steaks, burgers and dogs. Hot dog steaks. At the dip dog salon. Relax in the hammock, enjoy the view. Dance with the band to your favorite view. We'll see y'all soon. Yeah. At the dip dog salon. In Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, USA. At Marshall's Marine, fun comes in waves, and an adventure is always awaiting. Step into the Southeast's largest climate-controlled showrooms and select your next boat, Wave Runner, or ATV. Choose from pontoon boats, deck boats, Skeeter and Ranger bass boats, Yamaha Wave Runners, Stingray Power Boats, and Arctic Cat all-terrain vehicles. Marshall's is the largest marine dealer in the Carolinas, and our service experience is second to none. We're just a short drive from where you are now. Family, fun, and fishing begins at Marshall's Marine, Lake City. <laughs> I got everybody's line. Oh, look here. I can't get him up any further. Help me. Oh, no. Oh, my man. <laughs> That's all right. That's close. That's all right. Definitely the hardest part is getting the doggone fish in from down there. Yeah. You're bringing him up, what, 40 feet? What was that, 30, 40 30, feet? 40 feet. God, dog it, man. Oh. bounced out of the net. Oh. <laughs> I think it's a little one. I got him right here. Got one. We'll bring him on up. He's a little one. Hey, that's okay. It's a start. At least I caught one. Yeah, it is a start. Look at there. Good hook set. He did it all by himself. 
<laughs> There's a lot bigger ones out here than this. <laughs> but of course, if you watched the show before, I'm always going to catch the smallest and the least. So, get back. Come here. Good time, huh, Luke? I know. Good time. It's unbelievable. Maybe start actually going back up here. Well, I mean, Justin, this thing doesn't happen much. Slide over here. The bite like this doesn't happen much down here, does it? Uh, it happened about I mean, it's ten pretty... years. Ten years ago was the last time it happened. It's been a long time. And it's it's you know we've talked about the oxygen deprivation and everything. You think that's what pushes them up in here where they can get some oxygen in that yeah, water that's like, rolling over? Just like a mullet swimming on the top of your live, we turn the aerator off. It's, they all try to go to the top and get in the shallows. Well, I tell you what, it's exciting to be out here on the pier. I know you guys are family. You've grown up fishing down here. Jason's grown up fishing here, and and everybody. I mean, it's a blast. It's just a blast being out here. I mean. Yeah. We, uh, you know, and despite the fact you're pulling three, four, and five pound flounder over the side, <laughs> makes it a little numbers. bit more fun. Makes it a little bit more fun. Yeah, exactly. Hey, folks, joining me now is Adam Correa, my good friend, and actually the first mate on Fly Girl out of Perry's Bait and Tackle. And Adam, thank you so much. Thank Adam you. Uh, gave me a call yesterday and said, Inglis, we got to go flounder fishing at the pier. I got you a great show. And I've been wanting to do a show, you know, basically walking in, and, and you do a lot of that. You do yeah. a lot of walking fishing, yeah. and, and, and a lot of our viewers do the same thing. Now, we're lucky because we're kind of in the middle of something that's unbelievable here with all these flounder. Yeah, this only happens about once every 10 years. So. Well, I tell you what, I know it's pretty basic. You know, I, I, I threw some stuff together, but you've, you've got all your stuff you need to fish down here successfully. Yeah. And we want to we tell all the viewers exactly what you need to come down here. Now, we'll start off with, you know, basically trying to get your stuff out on, out on the pier. You know, we've got a nice cart here that we got at Perry's Bait and Tackle. What else do you suggest to everybody making sure you've got coming out here? got to make sure you have the cart. Definitely going to need a cooler. Yep. Uh, just basic tackle. The hook for easy. Using a number two hook, I think we went number, to, right? Number twos from Perry's. They're about the sharpest hook you can get. Right. Uh, that's the only thing I use anymore. For those, those are great nickel hooks that she gets in there. I use them for, for redfish, sheephead, flounder. Now around here, fishing around these pilings, these fish are running up into the piling some. So you want to use a little bit heavier line. I noticed you've got heavier line. Yeah. And you've got kind of got a different different leader here. I think it looks like a surgeon's loop you tied That's right there. Surgeon's loop, you slide the lead on, a bead, surgeon's loop, and it's easy. You know, if your hook gets bent or something, you can just pull it off just like that. And switch put, it out. Put a new one on. Yeah, and that's a, gr that's a great deal. You can use a regular old Carolina rig. It doesn't make a difference. Well, now, I was throwing uh, three-quarter ounce lead earlier, and, and fortunately, I switched up. You had told me to try and get some ounce and a half and two ounces. Yeah. It's a lot better. That current really moves it around. The current up here is going to move it around a lot. You're going to need anywhere from one and a half to even a, up to a three-ounce egg weight on them rough days. Yeah. Well, we've got a beautiful day today. It's calm, sun shining. It's pretty out here, and we got a bucket full of mullet from Perry's and right. and now you've got the other thing I think is a necessity of course uh, we, we missed one of my fish earlier but I've missed quite a few fish but that's that's the way we do it on reeling up the coast captain he always catches the least and he misses a bunch but that that dip net you've got we're dropping over to bring those fish up it, it's a necessity yeah because I mean a flounder I know at the side of the boat a lot of times you'll yeah. lose them if you don't get that net under them and they're, you're gonna see us reel up quite a few today, but they're just biting so good. If we lose one, yeah, oh don't yeah, hurt anyone's feelings. But now, definitely now, a net. Most piers do supply you with a net. They'll have piers. Okay, that's the way it works. But not all of them do. So I suggest to go buy one. They're like twenty dollars. Right. A good investment if you're going to pier. If you're gonna try and lot. catch something decent size yeah. too. Now during the year, there's all kinds of stuff you can fish for on the pier. You, uh, black drum we were talking about. I think we were going to try and get some uh, yeah, we might sand fleas. Yeah, a couple of them later on. But there, there's always something to catch out here. We catch everything from whiting the king mackerel out here, tarpon, cobia. Yeah, one of our good friends actually caught a tarpon here. Yeah. Um, from uh, Marlin Quay. Yeah. I, I'm Luke. Yeah, Luke caught a tarpon a here. Years back, we caught one last year. We've had about four on this year, but. You know, they're hard to get a hook in. Well, you know what? With all that bait swimming by up here on the beach, you know they're going to be here. Well, yeah. I tell you what, it's like a family out here. You guys all know each other. It's great. You know, I love fishing on the boat and stuff, but this is where this is where I have fun because we have a fishing club out here, and we have king mackerel tournaments about four times a year, and it's a good time. It's all a family. Everyone's a real nice group of people. And 
you know, people come out, don't know much about it, all the local guys will be happy to help. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know, if you come down here from the upstate, wherever you're at, you come down and want to fish on the pier here, if you come out, these guys are a big group. You're going to see them. They all look like they know what they're doing. Yeah. They got all the nice rod holders on their carts and everything yeah. else. And if you just watch what they're doing, they're probably going to be doing what's successful and try to imitate that. But yeah. I tell you what, I'm ready to go back to fishing. Adam, I am too. thank you so much for giving us the heads up on this. I'm yeah. all excited about it. Absolutely. Let's go catch some more. Get him, Adam. Get him, little one. No. No, it's a nice one. Uh-oh. All right, I get to do some work here. I get to do some work. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Got him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Got him. Hey, at least I contributed. I contributed in some manner. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, buddy. Oh, you didn't get in. I didn't get in. You didn't get in I the pool. Be, I would have beat Jason if I got in. Huh? Oh, that would have, definitely. Knock me upside the head, why don't you? I, you got him? That's a nice one there, rig. hot dog. What do you that carry rig at? Out of my tackle box? Look, he's barely hooked. Yeah, well, you out. caught him right under the dock, yeah. didn't you? The pier, the dock. It's a pier, Captain E, not a dock. <laughs> Did he get off? No, he's on. Hold him in the water. Oh, that's a nice one. Grabbing that. Look at that. Go, girl. Hold him in the water. Hold him in the water. Get him, girl. That's nice in there. Yeah, man, I fished all day yesterday at the mouth and did not get a bite. You know, we thought that that would be a place to try. Jay and Jay tried it. They, they're... Oh, that's a good one there. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I saw a doormat pulled up yesterday. That thing was a yeah. Good flounder, Karina. Yay. Way to go, girl. <laughs> oh my God, what are you going to fish for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hot dog. Hey, hey, since Karina reeled it in, it goes in our cooler. <laughs> Good job, girl. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some more action from Surfside Pier in Surfside Beach, South Carolina. I'm going to go get some mullet. You stay right there. Reeling Up the Coast is brought to you in part by these following sponsors. Harry's Bait and Tackle, offering the freshest bait in our area since 1954. By Towboat U.S., Little River, Myrtle Beach. Sign up today and we'll make sure you get home safely. By Coastal Angler Magazine. Pick up your free Coastal Angler Magazine and check out what's going on in Carolina's coastal waters and beyond. Also check out Captain E's article each month by Seven Seas Seafood, offering its customers the freshest choices of seafood caught locally and served by the best chefs on the Grand Strand. And by South Carolina Bank and Trust. At SCBT, it's our beliefs that set us apart. We believe in our people, our customers, and communities we serve. At Marshall's Marine, fun comes in waves, and an adventure is always awaiting. Step into the Southeast's largest climate-controlled showrooms and select your next boat, wave runner, or ATV. Choose from pontoon boats, deck boats, Skeeter and Ranger bass boats, Yamaha wave runners, Stingray power boats, and Arctic Cat all-terrain vehicles. Marshall's is the largest marine dealer in the Carolinas, and our service experience is second to none. We're just a short drive from where you are now. Family, fun, and fishing begins at Marshall's Marine, Lake City. Can you buy 2011 RAV4s for $21.9? Sparks Toyota. At Sparks Toyota, buy the 2011 RAV4 for $21.9 or 0.9 APR for 60 months. Buy the 2012 Tacoma for $23.9. $23.9 or 2.9 APR for 60 months. Plus, get Sparks Toyota's preferred customer program. Log on to SparksToyota.com and hurry. Look at Jessica shows up and catches one. Jessica's got a fish on. Oh. Somebody net it. 
Right nope, there it is. Oh, that's a nice one. Hold it in the water. Hold it in the water. Keep going. He was a monster. I'll get that hook off of there for you. There we go. Hot dog. That's a nice fish. Nice big old flounder. You got him? Yep. All right. Don't throw him back. Don't throw him back. You already lost one big one. Can't cook him if you keep throwing him back. I did the same thing. I got tangled earlier trying to get. You got to reel that slack up as you're coming up. Yep. Can he bite me if I put my hand in the eel? No, he won't bite you if you bite your, put your hand there. But you don't want to put it right there in the business end. <laughs> That's the business end we call it right there. Folks, I'm sitting here with Jason Burton, and if you remember back in uh, late spring, we went out on Second Lady. And absolutely slayed the dolphin, didn't we? Yeah, we had a great day out there catching those big dolphins. We did have a good time. And you grew up in the Surfside Garden City area, and you grew up fishing on this pier, didn't you? Yeah, one of my first experiences was actually fishing on the pier. You know, we didn't have a boat or anything, so we'd jump in the golf cart and run to the pier and fish all day long until they kicked us off. So. Well, it's a great time. I mean, you, you can come down with your family. You can come down. You don't have to have a lot of crazy stuff but you can come down and find stuff at Perry's that you yeah. need to fish out here yeah we used to stop at uh, Perry's bait and tackle we'd get all the live bait and tackle we needed and uh, you know like I said we'd jump in the car and run to the pier and you know catch a little bit of everything flounder and trout and redfish and all kinds of different stuff well this is crazy but you, you were saying on the phone last night when we put this together real quick that 10 years ago pretty much to the date you caught a monster flounder here yeah yeah it was about 10 years ago they had a for whatever the reason, the oxygen levels or whatever got low, and all of a sudden the flounder started running in really big schools, and we were just catching huge numbers of them. And it's ironic because here we are 10 years later, and now it's happening again. So it's kind of the same deal, though. You got to think about it. You know, one thing that you brought up earlier was that ordinarily the sharks are everywhere around here. We hadn't seen a shark all day, and we're throwing back small fish, and there's guys cutting chum up, throwing chum over. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's weird. Normally, you can come up here and you know turn the water on the, to the sinks and. Little sharks will swim by just to see if anybody's cleaning anything, but today we haven't seen any. Uh, oxygen well, it's, must be messing everything up. It's been pretty neat the way the fish have hit because, you know, unlike yesterday, which we, got us turned on to coming out here all of a sudden, you know, the fish were, were hitting and wave and they'd quit. Hitting the wave and quit. Same thing just a second ago, caught two back to back. Now they slowed down. I think I, I think they are in schools just kind of moving through, and when you get them in here, everybody starts catching them both sides of the pier. You know, it's not one side better than the other. And, but we got spot coming up in the fall. There's all kinds of stuff to fish for out here. I mean, you guys have caught tarpon. We know you can catch king mackerel out here, Spanish mackerel, good gosh. There's so many things to catch here, and you can bring your family out here and everything else. Now, we got a little contest going right now. We, we threw a little money in the pot for some lunch, and Luke just took you over. You were winning. Yeah, I had to lead for a minute, but good old Luke, you know, he just decided he's going to throw a big one on the deck. So. That's all right. We got a couple hours left, and Guys, listen, if you want to come down, Jason's boat is right over at Perry's Bait and Tackle. Captain Justin will take you out on the fly girl and put you on these fish in the inlet, Spanish mackerel, anything you want to get on. 
Um, if you're down on the Grand Strand, you're up in Pauley's Island, make sure to go to Pauley's Island Outdoors. Those guys can get you set up for all you need up there. They got a great pier at Pauley's Island as well, and you've got a lot of surf fishing. Um, we're going to do a lot this fall. We're going to get out and target some fish with our feet. What a lot of people that like you guys do all the time, and I tell you what, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because I know Adam's going to help put me on some stuff, and Rick, a buddy here, going to put us on some stuff. But we're going to have some great stuff for you coming up. Now I'm going to get back to trying to catch a fish here. You guys stay right there. Reeling Up the Coast is brought to you in part by Coastal Gas and Merle's Inlet. Free ice with purchase of 50 gallons of fuel. Located behind the Chamber of Commerce. And by Ag South, rural America's lender of choice for land, farm, and home loans. By Fishizzle Tackle. Reels are going to sizzle when you go Fishizzle. Visit FishizzleTackle.com for your nearest dealer. By Ice Recycling in Lake City, South Carolina. Leading the way in the move to get... Hey folks, it's time for another Tips and Techniques segment and I'm down at Polly's Island Outdoors with Kevin and Kevin today. We're going to talk about a popular rig that a lot of the coastal fishermen use, uh, trout, redfish. You know, I know people catch flounder on these and it, it's real simple to tie. A lot of people don't want to go into the time to do it. They buy pre-rigged ones, but the, the, this is a lot more productive, don't you feel? I feel like it is, yeah. It's an adjustable depth cork rig and uh, to tie it, you're going to need a bobber stopper, a bead, an adjustable depth cork, a trolling swivel with weight, and we like to use a number two or number four offset hook, hook but any hook will work, circle hook, offset, whatever yep. your preference is. Um, I'll show you how to tie it now. On your main line coming from your rod, you're going to slide this knot over it. And the way this works is you pull the tube away, leaving the knot on your main line, you pull that snug. Now to keep your cork from sliding over that knot, you're going to need a bead. So then we'll place the bead on there, again on your main line. From there, your cork. Now most of these beads, uh, most of those bobber stoppers come with a bead. With they them, do. So. They'll be in the pack with the cork or you can buy some extra ones which you're probably going to need. Yep. Alright, so we're through there. In the essence of time, we have the hook already tied to the weight. Now, what kind of leader we got on here? This is 20-pound fluorocarbon. Uh, it's what I was using for trout in February. In the winter time, I like to use a little lighter line. Um, so then here, tying a Palomar knot will attach this. In the essence of time, I'm just going to tie a quick knot. But your final rig will look like this. And you can move this string up and down to determine the depth that you'll fish. And this is good for flounder, trout, reds, most any of your inshore species. Now we're going to, you know, this is, is designed so that you can fish a deeper area, I know, and set that cork and however, and be able to cast it where, you know, like the cork and the bobber setup that we had as kids, you know, your pre-cut leader. If you're fishing somewhere that's 18 foot deep, you can't do that. With this rig, you can get your line down to where you want it, set it up, and reel your, you know, reel your bobber stopper into your reel, which is key on this rig. That's right. It's a great way to find the fish. When you don't know what depth the fish are holding at, you can start off shallow and move to 8 foot to 20 foot without ever retying. Right. That's and, why we like it. And guys, they've got every piece to this puzzle that you need. You come down. These guys will show you how to tie this rig at Pauley's Island Outdoors right here on Highway 17. Um, go to reelingupthecoast.com or to your website. Uh, Pauley'sIslandOutdoors.com. And we'll, we'll, you know, let us know if you need some help tying this. We'll, we'll answer that question for you. I'll turn you over to Kevin. Let him answer it for you. But guys, listen, we're going to go back to the water. Kevin, thanks so much. I got to let him eat it a little bit. Got to let him eat it. I'm going to let him eat it. That's a nice one. Yep, 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 yep. No, no, no. No, the hook just came out. Get the net. I got it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. No, nope, little one. Little one, I'll bring him up. It's all right, though. Look at there. Hot dog. At least they're biting. That's two cast, two fish. Mm -hmm. Huh? I know. I got to bite the second that you said I got one. I was like, oh, it's you, me too. A little bit small, we'll let him go. All right, folks, you can see we had a great day here at Surfside Pier in Surfside Beach, South Carolina. Flounder fishing right here in the surf. Adam, thanks so much for turning us on to this bite and getting us out here with you. And boys uh, and girls, it was fun to have you guys out fishing. I know we all should have been doing charters today, but you know, when something like this happens, we got to come fishing, right? Got to play a little hooky. Got to play hooky and get out here. But listen, you can come down here and do this. It's real simple. 
Just stop by Perry's Bait and Tackle, Polly's Island Outdoors. Those guys will get you set up with what you need to surf fish or fish from the pier. And email me at reelinguptthecoast at yahoo.com and I'll try and help answer any questions you got. Now listen, we're going to get these fish cleaned up. We're going to have us a good fish fry tonight. You make sure to join me next week for some more Reeling Up the Coast.